And hello, my friends. Welcome. It's uh, it's Friday, and for some people, it's TGIF. I um, I never look at it that way because to me, um, every day as an entrepreneur is the same, and they're all good days. And uh, really doesn't matter to me which day it is. Uh, it's it's all good. So um, there is a new tool out there which I want to show you guys today. It's a very cool tool. And um, I just need to adjust a couple things here to make sure that it works so that I can show you what I want to show you. And um, we're going to officially get started. Please go ahead and share this broadcast if you want to, if you have some friends that you think are going to benefit from learning how to um, use the new Bitmoji in Snapchat. It's going to be some cool stuff. Those of you in the live video marketing mastermind, welcome to you. Those of you watching on my fan page, hello. And those of you watching on Periscope as well, glad that you're here. And we're going to officially get started after I take this drink. And then uh, like the video for later, see I edit this where I start it. And then I put it up on YouTube as a finished video. Pretty good idea, huh? I think so. Here we go. You want to know how to liven up your Snapchats like never before? With Snapchat's acquisition of Bitstrips, a company that produces an application called Bitmoji, the integration with Snapchat is now complete and you can do some really, really fun stuff. Uh, if you've had fun with stickers and um, emojis, in your Snapchat stories, now you can really kick it up a notch with these Bitmojis. And so what I want to do is I'm going to walk you through how to use Bitmoji and then how it integrates with Snapchat and show you ideas for how you can tell stories um, with Bitmoji and Snapchat. So let me get my phone out here and switch over. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and show you the Bitmoji app itself. And so uh, you can see it in the bottom right, almost the bottom right corner. The Bitmoji app is free for iOS and Android devices. And you simply tap on Bitmoji to load it up. Um, now, I have, I've already logged into my Snapchat account. So since Snapchat owns Bitmoji and paid $100 million for it, now we understand why. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with Snapchat just by tapping login with Snapchat, goes over to Snapchat. It says, do you wanna log in as Joel Com? I do because that's me. And uh, don't you try that at home, log in as you. Uh, so these are Bitmojis. Bitmojis are um, emojis that are customized to who you are and how you look in Bitmoji cartoon form. So uh, what I'm going to do, though, is before I show you my Bitmoji and use it in Snapchat, I'm going to show you how to actually make your own Bitmoji. Okay, so if you look up at the top, you'll see in the upper left corner, you'll see the little guy with the, uh, the pencil. So we tap that. And this is where you design your avatar. You can either pick the Bitmoji style, which is uh, uh, the one at the top, or the Bitstrips style. Now, I've already done a Bitmoji one, so I'm going to create one in Bitstrips style. And I'm going to tap that. And the first thing we do is we pick our face shape. So you can see here as I'm tapping around lots of different face shapes, um, I'm going to go with that guy right there. Okay, and if we do this, now we can go to skin tone. So if I had a really bad tan or if I was extremely white or maybe yellow skinned, red, green, Oh, that looks like I'm sick or something. So we're just going to go with the traditional flesh tone right there. Then I tap on the right arrow again, and now I can pick my hair color. Uh, there is no salt and pepper combination here. Uh, there's just it's it's all solid colors. So uh, I'm I'm not quite that, and I'm not quite that. I'm somewhere in between this and that. So I'm just going to go with uh, you know what? Let's make me a white haired guy for this example then I tap here what's my hair length short medium long <laughs> wacky 
bald. Let's we'll make we'll make Joel bald for this. Uh, I don't think I have that problem. So just for the sake of this example, I'm going to be bald. And then uh, I actually need to slide this over just a bit here. Let me let me do this really quick so you guys can see this better on um, on Facebook because it looks like it's cutting off just a little bit of it. Hopefully on Periscope you're seeing it okay. Um, then we pick my hairstyle. So I was bald and then I grew some hair. The swoop. This is this is me in uh, 20 years, I guess. Uh, then we can pick the jawline, and uh, we're gonna go with uh, we'll go with this guy right here. And then my eyebrows. Is there a unibrow? I mean, I don't have one, but there should be a unibrow option. There's not. Okay, we're gonna go with that guy. And then eyebrow color. Well, of course, they're burgundy. Um, and then the eyes themselves. See how we're creating this, uh, which we believe, you know, this one's obviously not going to look like me, but the one that I have does. How about pupils? Real dilated. I am in Colorado. That could be a thing. Um, eye color. I'm going to have blue eyes for the first time in my life. And then we're going to do my nose. How about that guy right there? My mouth. Pucker up, baby. Uh, let's do that one. By the way, they were having some real server issues with uh, this integration. It looks like it's working now. We can change up my ears, put some facial hair on there. Let's get a little, uh, how about the goatee? I haven't had the goatee in a long time. And the color of my beard, well, of course, it's going to match my eyebrows. Duh. Uh, eye detail, put a little few wrinkles there. Cheek detail, put some dimples there. Face lines, uh, yep, I've got some of those so let's put those on there and how about some cool sunglasses so you can really customize this and I think that this hat say my name ha! that's my Heisenberg uh, avatar now cool and we can put some accessories on like uh, no I don't want that I want that I want the Heisenberg hat there we go and we're just gonna go with that not gonna do any accessories and my build oh no, thank you. Uh, we're just going to go with that one right there. Okay, looking good. Now I can save it. And now let's put an outfit on me. Um, so they've got the Bitmoji Sun outfits. There's the Ghostbusters outfit. So I can be the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man if I want to. Or I can put a costume on. But then you can't see my hat. And, and frankly, the hat is, uh, is the most important part. Uh, there's a dog on that. I like that one right there. So I'm going to save that. And now all of the um, the emojis are customized with this figure. So you're going to see the same ones. Lol, I can't even, good morning. But in, it'll be the emoji face that you pick that's going to be in that place. And you can see there's a lot of them. They have theme packs. And I think you can buy some of the additional theme packs but there's all kinds of bitmojis here and up until um, snapchat rolled out their integration you could only use them in text messages or in um, uh, facebook messaging okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and pick or you can change them at any time too uh, how do I go to one that I already chose? Oh, there they are. Okay. So, wait, where's the one I did? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to go looking for it now. I'm going to go to Snapchat. Let's get into Snapchat. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Let's see if you can hear this. I guess you can't hear too well what I did in this story, unfortunately. 
But so uh, if you can't hear it, it's just because it's not going through my desktop here. But um, I went to sleep, I took a nap, and then I went and I looked in the mirror, and I'm a bit moji. Farting rainbows. Who doesn't want to do that? I don't feel like working. I could let emoji me do it. Get to work. I could also just tie a knot. Ooh, creepy. Hi, mini me. The point is, bitmoji is now here to enable the whole world. Yeah, I know you're not able to hear it. Um, I'm not sure how to get the volume up on that, so. Uh, you get the point. So let me, what's more important is I want to show you how to do it, okay? So you can make your own. Now that we're connected here, you simply go to Snapchat and you're going to go ahead and take a, a picture. Only, um, yeah, we'll just take a picture of myself here, okay? Better lighting, please. Okay, so I took a snap, and I'm looking down where I'm going to put the Bitmoji. Now, you go to your stickers, just right there like that, and, of course, you'll notice that they've totally changed at the bottom, um, the sticker layout, but the, the icon right after the clock is where you're going to find your Bitmojis when you linked your account. And these are all of the ones that are available, and I can swipe through them, and it's loading them all up. And there's a lot of them to choose from. Makes for some really cool opportunities to tell stories. So let's see, what would be a good one of the guy I'm looking at that, uh, uh, let's say I want somebody pointing at me. Oh, this guy right here. That one's kind of cool, but let's see. I'm going to, let me pick another one. Um, how about... <laughs> okay, it's in there. I'm going to use it. <laughs> okay, that's actually perfect, right? So now I can add that to my story just like I would any other snap. I just click to add the story and I can do other stuff to it. I can show, you know, how long is it going to be up there um, and I can add, you know, text to it like I would any other snap. I can draw on it like that, and then I can add it to my story. There, there's nothing to it. Now, we can also do some cool stuff with animation like you saw me do in my demo. For example, my desk is really messy right now. I'm getting ready to move, but if I just take a video snap and go across my room like this, we can pin a Bitmoji the same way that we would pin any other sticker or emoji. So I can go in here and I can pick uh, one right here and let's pick this guy. I like him and we're going to take him and we're going to pin him right there. And you do that by putting him where you want and then where you want it to stick, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to hold down until the little swirly thing comes up. It'll go like that. And now it's going to stick it. So watch as it plays back. And it goes across the screen. And there's Heisenberg. Say my name. We can put another one in here. How about we put this guy all the way on the left side for when we get started. All right, so when it goes back again to the beginning, I'm going to pin it. Right there. Okay, I've pinned him there. And now it's going across. And this is how you can do multiple stickers and bitmojis and put them wherever you want. Uh, let's do one more. How about uh, this guy? He's going to sit on the printer. Okay, so I'm going to wait for it to start again. 
And right when it comes to the printer, we're gonna oh, missed it. You gotta be quick. You, you gotta tap just right to get it to be where you want it to be. And stop. Okay, got him. Got him right there. How fun is that? So now he's sitting there on the printer. And um, then once you've got it done, you can go ahead and add it to <clears throat> your story. Now you can also, if you have friends that are on Bitmoji, um, let me go ahead and cancel that, but let me go to like over here. I know that, uh, uh, for example, uh, Jeannie, our snappy hour, um, she's on Bitmoji. And when I go to, to click them, you'll see that if that person is also on Bitmoji, it'll give you, uh, what do they call them? Um, can't remember what they call them, twin mojis or something like that. So I'm gonna send her this one. And I just sent her a private Bitmoji. Oops, let's see. Come on, there you go. Just like that. And it's got her Bitmoji and my Bitmoji in there uh, together. So that's pretty cool. So uh, there you have it. It's really not hard to do. Bitmojis add a whole new personal flavor to your Snapchat stories. And you don't even have to be in your snaps. You can create stories that your Bitmoji is uh, the thing that's in there. Go watch my Snapchat story from uh, yesterday before it expires if you couldn't hear it when I played it. And you'll kind of get the feel. You can do a narrative for your uh, your bitmojis and tell stories with you completely in cartoon format it's a lot of fun hope this has been helpful for you joel come here follow me on snapchat at joel come on periscope at joel come on twitter at joel everywhere it's i'm i'm everywhere as joel come because that's my name say my name say my name all right gang i want to do good stuff bitmoji Hmm. Maybe somebody can make that happen. Catch you later.